So you now leave uh, Amref after a fantastic but actually not short yeah. you know it's four it, years. it's the theme mm -hmm. you know it's around three to four years yeah. of stay yeah. uh within an institution very nice actually mm. uh, and you have just introduced that you've gone to you now move to aga khan so what period is this around 2018 19 20 2000 in covid period in covid period yeah oh so that's recent 2020 aha uh -huh. mm. Um, we're in 2022 yes so you moved to Aga Khan in 2020 yes September uh -huh. September 2020, yeah. meanwhile before you even do there have there been alongside this have there been other um other than I mean you mentioned you finalized with your divorce mm -hmm. uh, but have there been other things maybe career wise uh or board wise that or other other things that are happening um within that mm -hmm. period or alongside that I think that period like when you are at Amrit? yeah I think the divorce you know divorce is a is a long series of it's three courts that you go to okay yeah there is the divorce court mm -hmm. there is the children's court and there's mm -hmm. a matrimonial property court oh man okay yeah so that's I usually say getting out of a marriage in Kenya is very complicated mm -hmm. especially if you have children and property mm -hmm. So within that space, there was a lot of, um, and they're very draining emotionally. Mm. There was a lot of um, just figuring out. I started first with a divorce mm -hmm. and then I did children's courts. Mm -hmm. So just figuring out um, what next from here. Mm. Um, and then I think last year is when I did matrimonial property court. So that's like a period of four years. That's a long yeah. period of time. But it's because I took a break because mm. it was just too much. Too much negative energy. Mm. At, is there a marker for success in divorce? It's just how civil you, are, you both are with each other. Mm. Yeah. Although Kenya does, the Kenyan law doesn't recognize uh, divorce by mutual agreement. Mm. You have to find cruelty. Mm -hmm. So people make up people make up stories in those in those divorce courts. I think if we went to a place like in the West where you shake hands and say cheers, mm. it would make um, many marriages more bearable mm. because you don't have to stick onto something that's broken mm. or irreparable. Mm. So that was it. Um, in your case, sorry, uh, just to tackle this a little. In your case, was that uh, you are raising kids? You have a son. Mm -hmm. You have daughters. Mm -hmm. um, are you? How is the experience mm -hmm. of going through divorce while raising kids? And are you sheltering them, or are you explaining to them mm -hmm. what's going on? Uh, my principle with my children has always been to be open. Mm -hmm. So we talk about sex, we talk about uh, taboo topics, we talk about relationships. Um, so when I was going through the divorce, I think there were my son was seven and the triplets were five. That's the first court. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, we had agreed with my, my then ex mm -hmm. that um, that would have the conversations as a couple with them mm. but i ended up doing it alone because he didn't he didn't uh, come through mm. so i just sat them down and mm. told them this is what is going on without going into many details mm. but just saying uh, mom and dad are no longer friends mm. and so dad is going to live in this other house mm. and that that means you have two houses which is a plus mm. <laughs> but we both you know love you unconditionally and whatnot so i think each process differently mm. because there's one who was who was quite angry with the dad mm. quite angry mm. and you could see she would express herself in some outbursts mm. and there's another one who cried mm. because that is um, that was her way of expressing mm. and then the other two just never spoke about it mm. so here and there, we try and bring it up just to judge, mm. uh, to gauge how they've absorbed the information. Mm. Yeah, but I think so far, so good. Um, I thought maybe they would need counseling. They didn't, but mm. I had to go for counseling. Mm. 
Uh, for the children's court, you know, the children get interviewed. Mm. Yeah, by the case officer. Without the parent yeah, present? Yeah, they do. Yeah, If mm. they are the age of giving information, they mm. do get interviewed. Mm. So, uh, children's court wasn't too bad because the, the, there was no contest. Mm. Um, so, I got custody of the children, mm. both physical and legal. Mm. And that meant that now I had to focus on raising them because mm. um, you know now they are dependent on you fully mm. um, so then the matrimonial by then I was just totally drained so mm. I moved on to other things I dated um, mm. <laughs> I I picked up my life mm. and then I moved houses because I'd been in that house for 11 years mm. And I felt it held a lot of sad memories. Mm. So an opportunity came up for me to move. Mm. And I moved. And I realized I was carrying a lot of baggage. Mm. And just getting into a new environment was a bit... It was therapeutic. Mm. Um, so then I got the energy to, to start the conversation on matrimonial property. Oh. Yeah, so that was also resolved. Mm. Like that one, you can now agree externally, mm. sign an agreement, mm. and then it's lodged in court. Mm. So like that one, I didn't go to court. Mm. Okay. Because we agreed and then we lodged it. Okay. Mm. So that is, yeah, so he, he has access to his children. Yeah. So he gets to, to interact with them. Yeah. And the children know. So you're co-parenting as, yes, we're as it were. Yes, we're co-parenting, yeah. And, and on, that, on that end, it's successful it's mutually it is let's say i have come to to work with what i'm given okay. <laughs> yeah okay. Okay. yeah because right. you, you you learn to pick your battles yeah yeah, yeah. all right and but the kids are growing yeah there. they're growing they that's now that's five six years now mm. five mm. to six years mm. yeah mm. so you they know more of the divorce life than the married life. Mm. Yeah, so mm. I think that's... And they have friends who have also are from single parent mm. families. Mm. And so I think it's... They now know some... Fam many families are like that. Mm. Yeah, and it's okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. And as you say, you have... Uh, started dating you started dating as well and... immediately <laughs> <laughs> immediately the separation happened yeah yeah no i don't i'm not a sucker for hanging on to sadness i yeah. don't yeah or uh, anyway and even maybe because that... the the relationship was long dead by the time it was physical separation it had long died yeah yeah but if you still have baggage mm. yeah it's 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 best to process mm some stuff mm. because you, it's very easy to carry it to the next relationship yeah mm. okay all right good that we have that entire context so a, a lot of this is happening while career is you're at either amref or have moved to uh, so is, is, yeah is amref it, amref bore the most of the yeah the legal so issues. as 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 um so as a career woman at the mm, time, mm. does going through all of this also, how does it, how, what's the interface or interplay with, with work? Do you feel, do you feel there is pressure for you at work or pressure to you at, at the home front mm. because of all of this that's happening? How do you juggle mm. all of that? I think for me, a compartmentalized issue. Uh -huh. so. So even when parenting or raising the kids, mm. if I travel, because mm. I traveled a lot, mm -hmm. I wouldn't call home. Mm. I wouldn't call to check up. Or... I'd call because it's routine for us to speak before we go to sleep. Mm. But I wouldn't call checking, oh, is the baby all right? Even when they're young and breastfeeding. Mm. If I'm gone, I'm gone. I've left you. Mm. And I also, I put them on a routine. Mm. So it was easier. Even at night, I'd give the house girls the kids at nine o'clock and told them my shift starts at six a.m. So I, I think because I I've always known I'm an, in a I've been in high pressure jobs mm -hmm. and traveling jobs mm. that I needed to make my kids very independent mm. and and not reliant on me. Mm. So I also empowered my house girls. Mm -hmm. Uh, like my house girl now, she drives. So mm -hmm. if I'm not there, she'll take them to school. Mm, very nice. Um, 
the kids know what to do mm. so because of the programming mm. even if they've gone to stay at a friend's place they know this this is what we do at, at this like time. we shower at 6 p.m mm. or we wake up at this time or we mm. go to bed at this time mm. so it's something that because i inculcated at a young age for them mm. so that meant that when i was at work i was at work mm. really mm. and then i hardly ever carried work home mm-hmm. So again when I was at home I was at home fully mm. and then I had dedicated time with them mm. like Sundays mm. uh family days mm. um I have I take time off that time when I was employed mm-hmm. I used to take time off um during the holiday mm-hmm. so it's a week mm. um for the two holidays and then over Christmas there's that holiday then we travel we do things together mm-hmm. so they would know that if i was working they know that there's a time for them that's coming mm. or maybe there'll be the time for them and they'll know i'll have to go mm-hmm. and that has really really helped mm. in terms of the emotional things i think i copped by put, putting myself into the work mm. and um i have very few people who even knew i was going through a divorce mm. so because i'm able to shut off mm. if i mean to shut off something i'm able to shut off mm. but also that runs the risk of me not being able to fully process things mm-hmm. because i sweep them under the carpet and move on mm. so i'm learning to go through the motions yeah. in a healthy way yeah so that they don't pop out later later yeah mm. yeah so that i think that's what happened okay but i got i'm usually so busy so distracted <laughs> <laughs> i think there's very little time to mop yeah yeah maybe when um dead in the night but during the day there are too many things to do there is a lot happening yeah. that, <laughs> activity yes. action and and, yeah. and 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 social impact mm. is is at the forefront of mm. of this all right so um how does aga can come about then mm.